Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Agi. This time I created three small medallions with rice paper and frosty look on edges. First, I use sandpaper to remove imperfections on edges as well as mat the surface of my medallion so paint can stick to it more easily. I start with grading 240 but this isn't enough to sand edges so I use thicker grading and then I go back to what I used at the beginning to polish scratches of thicker paper. Then, I use white acrylic paint and sponge to cover my bobble. One coat should be just enough if you are using sponges. Now we can start preparing images. Most of the time I till rice paper with fingers for better blending. This way edges are fluffy and tend to blend better, saving us time with less coats of varnish later on. Rice paper is very easy to use and doesn't get wrinkles like paper napkins. It is perfect for beginners, I have to say. Remember to glue your paper on either white or light background, as dark one will show through images. I also tear my images towards center because gluing on curved surfaces is very tricky. This way edges will overlap each other instead of creating wrinkles. We will even surfaces later on by varnishing sanding process. Now I can start gluing by applying glue on the medallion first and then another layer on the top starting in the middle of my image smoothing paper towards edges. When glue is dry, I mix white and grey paint to blend background. I also add little bit of water when needed. I do mixing along the way, adding more of each color, then I use larger sponge to tap over the paint to blend it, adding water if needed. Remember to take only tiny bit of paint on your sponge and work your way towards images, not the other way around.
When I'm happy with the finish, I can start varnishing. I apply several layers of gloss water-based varnish and then I use fine sandpaper to smooth my surface with another varnishing to follow. I applied about 40, 40 layers of varnish, yes, 40, 4, 0, with several sandings in between layers. This took me about one week to finish, so plan your work ahead and do it properly. I usually apply several layers of water-based varnish, then I leave my work overnight for proper drying. Then I use fun, fine sandpaper the next day to smooth surface of my bobo with another varnishing to follow. At the end I use transparent contour liner and white glitter with rainbow beads to create frosty look on edges. When everything is dry, I use soft brush to remove excess glitter and my work is pretty much finished. I want to wish every one of you Happy Christmas and all the best in New Year. Thank you for watching and see you soon.